my general thesis of how I was trying to interview people was about the why, not the what. And I think once you start to focus on that, the questions you ask and the way you're able to engage with people dramatically changes. So I wanted to talk about this really valuable book, Just Listen, by Mark Golston. And it really opened my eyes to some things, or at least made certain things that I thought I understood a little more clear, um, in particular with regards to engaging with people and developing relationships in the music industry. A couple of the main takeaways in terms of building relationships in this book are, like the title says, based around listening. The key one that I've actually found do wonders in my own life and that this book really um, clarified for me is the notion of transformative questions, right? I think a lot of times we ask each other things that are very transactional, right? Which is like, what time is the band playing? How long is this video going to be? We're asking for information and exchanging information in a very transactional way. But if you're trying to develop a relationship, what'll really kind of take it to the next level, if you're sitting down with, if you're sitting down in a room with someone important and you only have one question you're gonna be able to ask them just because of how their time is or whatever, you're gonna get a lot more traction asking, why do you do this? You know, because like a lot of the smarter people in the music industry don't need to like be there. They're there because they genuinely love it. So ask them that. When I was an interviewer, that was really a focal point um, of my music journalism career. And I still do this with um, the Dumb and Dumbest podcast, is my general thesis of how I was trying to interview people was about the why, not the what. And I think once you start to focus on that, the questions you ask and the way you're able to engage with people dramatically changes, right? Um, the other thing the book talks about that's really valuable is the concept of just going, hmm, or tell me more. Because again, people like to talk about themselves. That's why I, I fucking do these videos and like tell all these dumb stories about hardcore and stage diving and music marketing and cigars or whatever the fuck, right? Is like, people like talking about themselves. So give them that opportunity. Saying the tell me more or give me, you know, like, or repeating back something to someone, that's going to help a lot. The final notion, here's a bit of um, neuroscience for you, is the idea of mirror neurons, right? So essentially, we like it when the people around us are reflecting our emotions, right? And that's why, you know, like with parenting, you say, oh, if mom's not happy, the kids aren't happy, right? And that's why, you know, if we act cheerful, we can cheer up the room around us, so we can lift up the room around us, and why simultaneously, you will get so angry with the cheerful customer service rep when you're trying to fix your shitty fucking phone. It's really that simple. It's like there's a mirror neuron gap. And so if you can work on reflecting the emotions of the people around you and showing empathy for those emotions by listening, by asking thoughtful questions beyond, you know, the generic whatever, but instead something that's going to make people feel loved and is intelligent and makes sense, you're going to get a lot more traction. It's going to turn the dial, and it won't turn the dial right away, this stuff takes time, but it will turn the dial piece by piece so that people go, oh, okay, that guy's kind of legit, he asked me a smart question, or oh, this guy had an interesting idea that he made me think of, you know, or whatever, or that guy's a good listener, which is the greatest praise, right? Once you focus on that, you kind of move the needle, things start to grow a little bit more for you. It's just a really effective way to kind of lift up those around you and make valuable connections. So again, I want to sum this up for you guys. Transformative questions are really important, you know, so asking about the why and not the what, you know, and going deeper, right? Asking people to tell you more, the hmm response and letting people keep going, which again, I found super helpful as an interviewer as well. And then of course the mirror neurons where you reflect other people's emotions and you are able to get a little bit closer to each other as a result of that. And if you kind of do those things, people are gonna interact with you a lot more. And if you're trying to learn how to do those things, a great way is starting a podcast and interviewing a bunch of people, becoming a music journalist and doing sit down interviews with um, something like the Task and Recorder we're using for this, right? These are effective ways to open doors, make people aware of what you're doing and just show that you give a shit because so many people just don't feel listened to. So show them that you give a shit, listen, you'll grow.